I would have to say, without a doubt, if it wasn't for the entire team at Altimate, Altimate would not be what it is today. Social determinants, social justice from day one and even today is number one in terms of Altimate's mission. You know, I've been alive living with HIV longer uh, than I have been alive not living with HIV. When we look back on this epidemic long when it's defeated, Altimed will have been a place that not only saved lives, but made a difference in the daily lives of individuals that lived with a very terrible disease. So Children's Hospital, of course, complements um, Altimed so perfectly because of the mission of both of our organizations to treat all patients regardless of their financial class or immigration status. I had a, a, a medical concern, and here I am, I have health insurance. What happens to the people that don't? We have been working together and we put in place what is called the Women in Action Group. We concentrate in raising funds to provide mammograms for women that don't have access to them. It's first class all around. We've been looking for a project to put our excess energy into. Uh, we also uh, joined in partnership with Great Minds in STEM so that they can be exposed to careers and opportunities that they may not otherwise know about. Sometimes exposure to just the smallest opportunity or experience can really change their lives and can really impact not only their lives, but their parents' lives, then just trickles out into the community. I started working with Altamed around 10 to 11 years ago, a band called East LA Miss Napa. It's a great event. They're helping the needy and I said, why not? I mean, we're helping all these other people. Portals without people wouldn't be anything. I speak of them frequently as a model of kind of expertise, institutional expertise in terms of the delivery of healthcare for a community of great need. I would say to you that now Ultimate is kind of the organization that people look to when there's a new challenge. That it was community health centers who were really playing a leadership role in protecting services to this very critical immigrant population in our state. Altamed, under Costello's leadership, has really played a leadership role. And what he has done with Altamed has truly served as a model for community health centers, both in our state and nationally. Altamed just opened up a clinic in Southgate, my hometown and knowing that they're providing high quality of care to people in my city, my people, mi gente. I'm happy to come back to Ultimate any single time. Uh, as I was driving south on Atlantic Boulevard, and I saw La Clinica Familiar del Barrio. Esther Duran was the manager, and I mentioned to her that I needed to volunteer 60 hours to earn one unit in my psych major. So they took me in, they gave me the instructions, and I started. The 60 hours led to four years. When we see clients that are not able to get the care they need because of lack of insurance or lack of transportation. They're not able to get there. Being part of the Ultimate Mobile Unit, we bring the services to their communities so they can have access to care. At Ultimate, we strongly believe that, you know, working in collaboration with the medical team um, has been very successful. We even have our metric of medical and dental integration to ensure that um, any patient that is seen on the medical side from zero to five is seen by a dentist. We're very focused on the uninsured community. So whenever we can provide more resources to provide more services to that important community, we try to fill in the gaps, if you will. So I have been working with the PACE participants for the last five years. It's an absolute honor to be involved with Altamed. PACE provides the opportunity to give seniors exceptional service that they need to have the best medical treatment and to lead the most dignified lives. When I came to Altamed, I was employee number 12. Today, we have uh, 3,800 employees. This dream became a reality because of all of you. And I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Mil gracias. But I do want to remind all of you, we have a lot of work still. Our work is not complete yet. We have made a lot of progress, and I'm going to be calling on you all, my board of trustees, our community representatives that are here, and my staff. We've got a few years ahead of us. Thank you very much. Thank you.